Hello, here are my cards. Do all this. My name is Miles Boye, and thank you for tuning in with me again. Um, today I have a question for you guys. How do monkeys hear their gossip? Oh, wait. No, I won't. Through the ape vine. <laughs> and it's actually a fun fact that monkeys are not apes and apes are not monkeys. They have a lot of differences, but it's really interesting that they have a lot of similarities as well. And interesting enough, I'm here to talk to you guys about why monkeys are the greatest animal on the planet. I will start off talking about their variations and then I'll get into a little bit of fun facts about them. And then I'll end off on how long that they've actually been here. Um, so with just to touch up on why I even like them, I really just think that it's really cool that we have, you know, so many differences and we're so unique and have a lot of varieties of how we come about life as humans. And we have something in an animal that kind of replicates that and shows us that we're just about a part of this big old cycle of life. Um, I actually found from Science Kids Co., that there are currently 264 known species of monkeys. So that's really interesting because we're really different too, just culturally, physically wise, just everything. And it just shows how unique monkeys can be as well. Um, there's actually two different types of monkeys right now, just to, to distinguish the two. Um, it would be old monkeys and then there's new monkeys. Old monkeys come from Africa. Um, they would have to live or originate there just as new monkeys would have to live or originate from South America. Um, these monkeys um, would typically be for an old monkey would be a baboon and a new monkey would be something like a marmoset. Um, so also coming from Science Kids Co, um, some monkeys, they actually like to live on the ground and there's some monkeys that prefer living in trees as well, which I think is really cool because we have different living preferences as well. Um, and the smallest type of monkey would actually be a pygmy marmoset. So that could be from adult, fully grown, would be around 120 to 140 grams, which is really small and it's crazy to me. The biggest monkey will be a mandrill, and that can be as big as three feet long and up to 77 pounds. So it's kind of a big difference there. Um, and a different type of monkey would be a capuchin monkey. Capuchin monkeys are actually really smart and they're actually uh, able to learn how to use tools. They can learn new skills and they're even able to learn math. A lot of capuchin monkeys have actually shown signs of great self-awareness as well, which is really cool. Um, so getting into facts like that, I would now go on to my second point, which would be fun facts about monkeys. And coming from factretriever.com, all these facts have come from, um, I found that monkeys can actually understand numbers. If you write them down, they can learn how to count. They can learn basic arithmetic. And in some cases, very rare, but if the monkey is complex enough and advanced, you can learn multiplication. <laughs> like, how cool is that? If you have a little pet, you can just tell, like, if you're sitting at home doing homework, you just look at bro real quick and just, <sighs> bro, do you know how to do this math homework? You trying to do this for me? <laughs> like, that is cool. I don't know. that. That's different for me. I feel like that speaks for itself. Um, also, another fun fact is that the tip of a monkey's tail, which some monkeys do have tails and some monkeys don't, a tip of a monkey's tail is actually really sensitive and it's used to be like human fingertips. So they can use it to grab things and the rigidness of their tails are very different too. And with grabbing things, they can grab things like the grapevine, <laughs> bananas, or playing with another monkey's ear because you just know how playful they are. So that I found was really interesting as well. Also, the first primate was actually to go on the moon in 1949. He actually survived um, the whole process of going through space, which was the whole point of the experiment as well. But he actually died upon the landing because the parachute didn't shut off. Um, also, scientists have actually found in a s organized, in a studied fashion, um, that human, or I mean, female monkeys are able to teach their kids how to floss, which is very human, and you can see why I get that mixed up. And, and the f last thing that I like to move on is how long that these monkeys have been here. 
And scientists have discovered that the oldest monkey fossils uh, were found by more than 17 million years ago. And they're actually found in North America right here where we are today. Um, the findings suggest that 21 million years ago, a group of monkeys found a way how to cross the ocean and find their way from South America to what is now known today as Panama. So, I mean, there's just a lot of different things about these monkeys that are just super cool. There's more facts and stuff that I found about them. But with this little facts right here of how crazy that they can get and how big, how small, how many different varieties, where they come from, I just think it is so cool about just one little animal. And I think with more things to even discover, how could that not be the coolest man animal on the planet? Thank you. Thank you for listening. <laughs>